let me start off by introducing myself. My name is Melissa, and I am one class away from graduating from the printing and publishing program. I've worked on a printing press many times, and I've also worked for a printing company. I am going to teach you how to wind and jog paper. And when I say winding and jogging paper, that doesn't mean paper that has ran too much and is now winded. Um, winding and jogging paper is a way of putting air in between sheets of paper so that you are able to jog them, um, which means putting them in line properly. I'm going to explain why winding and jogging is important, even if you aren't in the printing industry. I'm also going to explain um, step by step how to wind and jog and some of the safety concerns with winding and jogging paper. Winding and jogging paper is important because it helps paper flow through the press without complications, like getting jammed or sending too many sheets through the press at one time. This can also be helpful when straightening up a pile of paper that people either just dropped on your desk, um, or you may have dropped it, or it came out of a printer. And as you can see, going like this isn't really straightening the paper. So by simply winding it, it easily falls into place. Um, and so I'm going to show you how to do that. And also I want to touch base on some of the safety issues that we have with um, printing and publishing um, and winding and jogging paper. And two things that you have to be concerned with, one is the area around you. Obviously, if you're in an office building, you don't have a lot of heavy machinery to be worried about. Um, if you are in a printing, in, if you're in the printing industry, you have to worry about a lot of fast-moving machines, heavy equipment around you, and you always want to be aware of those. One thing that you do have to be concerned with is the size of paper. This is a ream of paper. It's 500 sheets of paper. Um, this, but at 8.5 by 11, 20 pounds. But most printing companies use large sheets of paper, like this, for example, and this, 500 sheets of this paper, would be 160 pounds. So you need to be aware of how much paper. Obviously, you're not going to be able to pick up 500 sheets of that paper but you can pick up 500 sheets of this paper. So you want to be concerned with how heavy it's going to be because it can cause back problems. It can also cause you to stumble, fall into equipment, um, which can be very dangerous. But I'm going to show you how to wind and jog paper. You want to start off with a smaller amount because it's more manageable for learning for the first time. So I'm going to just start off with roughly about 100 pieces of 8.5 by 11 paper. Um, all you need is the paper, a hard surface, in your hands to wind and jog paper. So you want to start off with a small stack. Um, you want to place your thumbs on the lower side and one or two fingers on the top side. And what you're going to do is hold the paper this way and bring in to make an arch. Now you want to make sure your fingers aren't clamping down too hard because the paper needs to be able to move a little bit so that the edges of the paper can cascade. So after you've done this and you've made your arch, you want to clamp down now tighter onto it to hold it in the position it's at. And then you want to bring your fingers back to the original like you're holding the paper flat. And as you can see, there's an arch. So there's air in between each sheet of paper. This is called winding. And so when you do this, it helps the paper fall into line. I always flip it over and do it the opposite way. So again, hold the paper, hold it fairly loosely, and bend it in. Um, pinch down tighter and bring it back to the original position, and there's air in between. Then you want to hit it on a hard surface, and that's going to allow the paper to fall into place. You also want to flip it over, and you want to do it the long way as well. So just bend the paper again, holding loosely, clamp down tighter, and open the paper back up. And now there's air going through this way as well. Now when you set it down, you can see that air kind of flows out of it. And this allows, so the paper 
can move more freely so you can have it jogged properly. Um, when you do this, it takes all the air out of the paper, so obviously before you were to put it into a printing press, you don't want to press down on the paper because that's going to take all the air out of the paper and defeat what you just did. Um, if you're going to be just compiling a stack of paper to have it back in or an organized fashion, then by all means take the air out of the paper, otherwise it'll keep floating around. It's, winning and docking paper is very simple. A very simple process to do to help manage paper better. The only things you really have to worry about again are the size of the paper um, and how heavy it is when you pick it up. So whether you're dealing with lots of piles of paper or just a little bit of paper, this is a useful, simple tool to have your paper in order.